Hello and welcome to the Woodland Weekly for August 28th, 2019. Joined by the one and only Corey Barnett. Hi, uh, thank you, Brett. Uh, so, uh, Corey, we got several topics to talk about. Uh, you're certainly involved in absolutely every one of them, but let's talk about uh, the community carnival from last Friday. Uh, we had over 400 people attending. Uh, you volunteered or helped out with the so soccer event thing that they were doing. Um, I had fun with that. That was the first time of me actually helping with that part. Yeah, so we had several folks who were volunteering at different events, whether it was the, the dunk tank, the, the soccer game, bocce ball, uh, the bounce house. Uh, you know, we had to start setting time limits on the bounce house. People were in there so long, so that was wonderful. Uh, and really, uh, you know, provider relations uh, had a great evening as well. Uh, so we had several providers who were on hand and really it was probably for us, uh, probably the highest volume of participation we were able to uh, have in a provider fair that we've had in quite a long time here. Uh, and then also Action Club. So Action Club gave out a huge donation on uh, Friday night. So $2,500 to Habitat for Humanity. Uh, they've been fundraising for quite a while and it's uh, quite an accomplishment for them. Uh, but also, uh, we want to talk about Special Olympic softball. So let's talk about the uh, state summer game or state games for softball. Um, uh, we qualified for state. We beat. Uh, I can't remember what team it was. We were down eleven nothing. Came back to one fifteen to twelve. Um, we started off slow hitting or hitting pop flies and caught catch. Kept catching them, so we were hitting the ball to the ground and they couldn't stop the ball. And we came back to hit uh, win. All right, so uh, you guys won in the state tournament, so you, now you're on to the state finals, right? Or yeah. The state we're, tournament? Yeah, we're, it's the state tournament September 14th down in Oregon. I think it's Scott's Park or something like that. Okay. I don't know exactly what time. Um, and then tomorrow, to, tonight we have um, the staff game. Um, uh, white, red, and blue plays five thirty to six thirty, and then uh, the staff. And then the white team plays um, six thirty to seven thirty. Okay, are you looking for a competitive night tonight? Uh, yeah, it should be more competitive for the white team, I would think, because we have good players on that one. Like, actually can hit the ball really far and quick. <laughs> so people are very excited. Uh, so it's really open to anybody to come on out and watch us. Uh, so tonight at Carter Park, beginning at 5.30, uh, and so uh, we're looking for Corey to take it easy on staff this year. Possibly. All right. Uh, and then, uh, so also with Special Olympics, so we also have uh, four individuals who have uh, qualified to participate in State Golf. And State Golf, uh, that's actually going to be later in the month as well, but they will be appearing on uh, the Little Golf Show on 106.5 on Saturday, September 7th, 2019 at 8 o'clock a.m. We'll certainly be bringing uh, more information as that comes up. Uh, and then finally this week, we want to talk Synergy Conference. So Corey, it's my understanding going to Synergy this year. Yes, I mean, the first year for me going to that. It was, I heard it's a lot of fun. Um, it's down in Sandusky. Yeah, it is in Sandusky at Kalahari Resorts. Uh, and Synergy is really kind of one of the premier self-advocacy conference that uh, occurs here in the state of Ohio. and. Uh, really, we're uh, really proud of the fact that we're going to have a group of approximately 20 individuals attend on behalf of the Wood County Board of Developmental Disabilities. Uh, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun, but it's also a great deal of learning. And so we're looking forward to that. Uh, any final words on this energy conference? Mm -hmm. All right. So I want to thank you for joining. We'll see you next week.